Hello and welcome to another tutorial working with tables. In this tutorial we will going to take the table that we created in the previous tutorial and we're going to apply some more features to it. For example if you would like to change the color of your header row you can use the same technique I taught you in the last tutorial bring your mouse in the left column and click and the entire column gets selected entire row gets selected and then you can go in home tab or you can go in design tab you have both options I'll show you both options if you're in the design tab you can simply go under shading and then you can get to choose a shading color so you can see how the background color changed now if I had to select more than one row so what I do I bring my mouse in the column area okay now you press and hold your left click and keep coming down. As you keep coming down, you keep selecting more rows. So you press and hold the left click and then you let go the left click after you're done with your selections. So now I'm going to be teaching you the other approach of giving a background color which is in the home tab in the paragraph group you click to the right to the shading option and then you can go about selecting a color and that becomes a background color so you have both options of working with the background colors so now after I have created this table and giving it a given it a background color I would like to add a row above the first row right above the first row so I place my insertion point in my first name and then I go to the layout tab in the layout tab we have an option called insert above that allows me to insert a row above the first row similarly if I go in my first name column and I said okay I would like to insert left so that adds a column to the left similarly if I go to the last name and say okay I would like to go insert right so it inserts to the right you don't have to be in the far extremes to be inserting uh, columns to the left or right I just use that in this example you can be anywhere and using insert left to insert a column to the left and insert right to insert a column to the right or you can be in any of the cells and say insert above a row will be inserted right above that and you could be in any cell say insert below and the row will be inserted right below so here in the layout tab uh, right in the rows in the columns group you can go about doing all of these things now let's say if I want to come down in this middle row and say okay insert below so now you can see that there is a row that has been inserted right below the first row of data and the middle row of the data now let's say if I did that by mistake I want to get rid of it so I place my insertion point anywhere in that row and then I click the delete option which is also located on the left hand side in the layout tab so I click the delete option and then I choose delete row and the row is gone so now I'm back to two rows of data and a table next we will going to be exploring how you can go about merging cells which is to join multiple cells and make one large cell which could be done across a column which could be done across a row or a combination of the two so let's say if I want this to be one large cell right above so I click outside the entire row gets selected okay and now I will going to click the option merge cell in the merge group which is in the layout tab and it gets merged if I want to do the same for my first column here okay now since there's not a column across the board it starts from the second row so I can't really be clicking right up top like that okay because they're going to select the entire table because the first cell basically goes the span of the table so I'll now going to be coming down here and I'll be pressing and holding my left click as I come down notice it selects a row I want to select only the cells so I have to be inside the cell press and hold when you see this little black arrow now that only selects the cells in a column however spanning multiple rows so now once I've selected these now once again I'll show you bring your mouse anywhere in the bottom left corner of a cell you'll see a black arrow pointing diagonally upwards then you press and hold the left click press and hold it okay and then come down like this and we're going to be ending, ending up selecting all of these cells now I'm going to be clicking merge cells and notice everything gets merged into one large cell okay now once again we can always increase the column width okay we can always increase the column width okay this is where I would like to type phone notice it took 
the text properties but did not take the alignment. Okay, So I can change the alignment from here. Notice this option, the alignment group, which we learned in the last tutorial, how you go about changing the alignment and bring it to bottom align. Now here I can put in some number like, I'm just putting in some um, hypothetical number right over here. And now I'm down here. Okay. My contacts. Okay. And contact list. Now I would like this contact list to go center and middle. So that's a middle and center. And I want it to grow, grow a little larger. And all of these little steps I'm going a little faster because we have done it in the past. I could increase or decrease the properties right from here or I could go about in the styles and I want it heading one style or heading two style I can pretty much choose my style and then I can override whichever properties I want to override in the heading style so that's pretty much my choice now the new thing that I would like to introduce is in the layout tab so I'm moving over to the layout tab so here is my contacts and I would like my contacts direction to be changed so I'm going to be in the layout, in the alignment group, I have the text direction. So I click on text direction and notice the text direction is changing. And now it has changed. And this is the direction I want my text to be in. Okay, And I would like to then go to the home tab and make it normal. So notice it's normal now. Smaller in size, it all fits in one line. I can change. Now notice the alignment buttons. Everything has changed. All these bullets have changed. They've all become in the direction of the text. So I can make it center aligned. I can make it bold. I can go a little bit larger as long as I can fit it in the space. And I can stretch to close it like this. Okay. Oops. Now, this is another mistake people make. I'm glad I made it here. If you have one cell selected and you stretch like this, what happens? Only that, that particular cell gets stretched. Control Z to undo the changes, or you can use the back arrow. So whenever you are changing the column widths or row widths, make sure no one particular cell is selected. And there we go. We have brought it closer, and the entire column moved over. So this is how you go about adding things to your table and merge. Now, remember one thing for merge. After you merge, if you decide to add more rows, they don't automatically get merged. So you would have to merge them again. So you would have to select them like this, and you got to merge them again by going to the Layout tab and Merge Cells. So this is how you can work with merging the tables and um, going about changing the layout, adding rows, and adding columns, removing rows, and things like that. Well, that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to try to explore the design tab, which is in our table tools. Thank you for watching.